Okay, in today's video, we're gonna learn how to check up the AC system of a car. The customer came with a complaint that the power of the AC system is not working as properly, it means it doesn't cool properly. So in order to find out if the system is losing AC gas or not, we're gonna check on the way with this tool here, which is just a pressure measurement tool, how to find out if it's below is um, refilling status. The challenge we have is that we do not, we are not able to recover the gas that is in there. But if we have a leakage, how can we go about it with the gas, which is very harmful actually for the environment. But we need to find a way how to handle this. Now, the lucky thing is, about six months, about four months ago, we already put some UV ultraviolet dye inside the system, and uh, we already we can already see that there is a place that it's leaking. So normally, we inject a little bit of this oil which gives us the opportunity to find out the leakage where it is. We will, come, we will have a different video on how to inject the dye. So, in order to do that, we need a special glass that reflects the UV light that we can see. Because normally UV light is not being seen by normal, um, by us humans. But with this one, we can actually see the light itself, where it reflects. So you put on the glasses, you have a, you have a torch which shines in UV, ultraviolet light. You place it on the normal battery. You check quickly if, it, if it's actually working. And then we check all the pipes and connectors for any traces of this dye. We normally check especially on the connectors because many times the connectors are the ones that are that have the problem you can already see inside here that it seems to be fine you can look at the condenser from the front here and uh, it seems like that the condenser does not reflect anything so we go to the compressor we check the compressor, if the compressor is leaking anywhere. From the top, we cannot see anything. The compressor seems to be okay. The pipe here seems to be okay. So now we follow the pipes to the, to inside the car. And here already, you can see that there are traces of it. And it seems like it's all over the place. But, there are the connectors. 98% where the gas is leaking are the O-rings of any connections that are there. So inside here, we can actually see that the um, expansion valve that is there collected, that the expansion valve is leaking. And I think we have the problem here that some of the O-rings are probably worn out and not working anymore. But before that, I want to show you how to check quickly how much gas is in there and how to actually refill the system just by using gas and this tool here. So first, before you start the engine, you put the, you put the connectors on. Make sure they are clean. You don't want to have any dust or any sand inside the system, otherwise you destroy the compressor. You have one connector here, which is H, high pressure. You have the other connection here, which you can see is L for low. You quickly check if there's not any dust or sand on top of it. And then you connect them by pressing them on, lifting this one here. and pushing the valve inside. That's the way to open up the valve. So inside here is the valve. 
And in here is a nail that pushes the valve down, that opens up the valve and connects it to the system here. Important is that you have closed up both valves here, but with closing, it's just that the gas is not getting through the yellow pipe, but you can still see the pressure. So you can see we have some pressure on here, which is about, which is around six bar. And we're gonna check on the other side. Connect it here. Make sure that you have lifted up that nail inside, put it on, and then screw it down. And you can see we have the same pressure. Both sides are six bar. We have the listing of PSI and then bar. PSI, bar. This has a different measurement because it goes up to 800. This one goes up to 500 or say 35 bar. This one to 55 bar. That's why they're a little bit different. So we have six bar here. And on this side, we have about six bar the same. So on the high pressure side and the low pressure side, we have the same because the engine is not running. Now we start the engine and we can see how the pressure is changing. By this, you can already see if the compressor is working or not. You switch on the AC now. You can already see that the pressures are changing. The low pressure side is going down and the high pressure side is going up a little. But normally we should have the range. On the low pressure side, once the car is running, six bar. On the high pressure side, we should have about 14. If you don't have the bar, go to the PSI. You should have around 200 PSI. And here on this side, you should have around 90 PSI. So that's the way you can see that there is enough gas. But you can see already here, it does not reach it. It means the system is almost empty. That's why he doesn't have enough cooling power inside. To recharge now, it's pretty simple. You open up the valve here. You make sure you have the right gas, which is R134A. It's inside all, most of the cars. Only the very new cars, starting from 2018, they're using a different gas. But till then, all the cars are using our 134A. In order to recharge it, now you only open up the low pressure side. Because the tank has more pressure than the low pressure side, once you open it, we are refilling the system while the car is running. It's the only way to do it in this way. And you can already see the high pressure side is going up. Why it's going up, you have to check so you're not overfilling the system. And you switch it off once in a while to see how, how the measurements are going. So we're still far away from about five bar. We're at about three bar now. And here we're at about, we are at about 11. So it's not too much. So you can refill it until you reach about 90 bar. And then you wait how the system is reacting on the new gas. It takes a little bit of time to go around. Once you reach on the high pressure side, 
around 14 bar or at around 200 psi that's enough the low pressure side is less important than the high pressure side because you don't want to have pipes bursting or whatsoever once you've reached that the system is full and it's enough gas in there but this is only a way to do it it's not the hundred percent way otherwise you need a proper service gas station for that but we'll come to that later important is you know how to do this now the system should work again you know, the customer says the system is working again should have enough gas inside you turn off the car turn off the car and you can see that the pressures are now changing again this one should go down slowly and this one should go up slowly because the pressures are starting to equalize so for that now you open up the system here and you disconnect the same and you are done the system is recharged so for that the car should be done and the customer can go thank you